Good morning everybody and hello and welcome to my humble abode. Now today, at the end of the last episode I made, I built a quarry. So let's just go and see how that's doing. It, sh it should, stuff should be coming out of here but it's not. So I've obviously done something wrong. So I'll need to check what's happening here. In this tesseract it's tuned to quarry frequency 909 and the control is enabled and the configuration says it's sending energy and receiving items so let's go upstairs and fly off to the uh, to the old quarry I'll swap that for that one Right, I fly up to about uh, 200. About now, put out the hang glider and then press shift and go quickly across towards the quarry. Also in the, the previous episode, I think I mentioned immersive engineering. Yesterday I was playing with immersive engineering and it's quite an interesting mod. It was new in 1.9.0. So. When, I've, when we've done the uh, looked at the quarry, we'll go back home and see what we can see about immersive engineering. Right, here we are. Yes, it's not running as we can see. Oops. So first of all, you can see that this is turned off. And the reason it's turned off is because the control status is enabled low. It's because of this. Um... Ah, it's because of this uh, redstone torch. It set it to a high signal, so therefore it's, it, it was low. And in the here we are actually sending items and receiving energy. And what you have to do to, to change this is you have to press these buttons here. So at the moment this is items receive only. Item sending and receiving, item sent doing nothing, and item sending. Here is the same for fluid. It can send and receive fluid, or do nothing with fluid is the one we want. And here is energy, so it can receive energy, it can send energy and receive it. It can do nothing, as you see, as soon as you press that, I'll turn off the. Um, as soon as you press that, nothing happens, it, the energy disappears. So it's now sending energy. And now it's receiving energy, and that's the configuration I would like. So that's it. And now we can see that the quarry is busily working away. What else I've seen over here that I hadn't shown you before was another special island. Well, not really an island, it's a biome. And here we see some red cows and these cows are called mushrooms very funny and what was what we're standing on here is this mycelium it's the only th only place I've seen mycelium and I don't know what you use it for but there's quite a lot of cows we could capture a cow actually I've got a I've got with me a uh, safari net let's just capture a cow Sorry, not really a cow, let's go capture a mushroom. Ah, oh, yes, safari net, reusable, empty. In fact, what I can do is this. And with this device, when I right click, I've captured a, a cow in the safari net. Let's have a look. And here we have the safari net, with, and now it's got a mushroom health then. Oh, that's one way you can use. Right, so, so let's now that the quarry is busy working away, let's go off and see what's going on at home. Because I have to. Oops. Fortunately, I've got my magic. Uh, yeah, 
maggot with me and it pulls everything I throw away back to myself which is very handy quite often I always seem to manage to press the E instead of the W key so let's go quickly back home I'll go past this nice little village here And the other day I was also exploring and found um, some, an Eldridge um, base and there were a few other interesting things. In fact, the base is over there. It's quite a long way. It's quite a, it's quite a long way away. It's 800 metres. As you see here, I have installed a windmill. The windmill comes from this immersive engineering um, mod. Just. And what it's doing is it's generating power. And the idea of today's video is to show you how I actually created that. And it's sending power to this um, resonant energy cell, which can contain is it 80 million RF. And as you can see, the power is going slightly up, and it's a, it's quite interesting. You can take it down what will look like real power lines to uh, somewhere. Of course, then I could feed this into the normal power grid. At the moment, all the power is going into the energy cell. So let's go downstairs. Let's see what we have to do to start with immersive engineering. Of course, it's not going to be a tutorial video because I don't do those. I could have used my um, right. First of all, you start with to make a uh, start with a most engineer. You start with a book and a lever, and that then creates an engineer's engineer's manual, which is this book here. That's what we do with this. In fact, let's do it this way. Well, that on to number five, and then I can move this out of the way. I don't need this. What I'll also do is I'm going to put the safari net in the chest to where it belongs. With my mushroom. Oh, and something else I've built here is a rock crusher. Quite expensive. It takes about, to, I think, 12 diamonds to make that, that machine. What am I putting? Oh, the safari net. That belongs, I think, here. Yes. So, safari net reusable with a cow in it. Oh, that's just, uh, a mushroom, that's a cow. I've got Enderman, I've got a villager, I've got a pig, and I've got a sheep. I haven't got any chickens yet. And to make the safari net, you need to have a gas tier. And once they've got this electromagnet, it actually, when you go and kill a gas in the nether, you can quite easily get the tiers. It's surprising that they drop normally two. And since I've built this, I've got a lot of gas tears, or a relatively large amount of gas tears. In fact, I have 37 gas tears. Now, sorry, let's go back to this immersive engineering mod. Here I've set up a little base with a little section for, for the immersive engineering. And in here, I've nothing. That's for the chest here. And in here we have got some things I've prepared earlier. So what we've got is a coke oven. We need to make a coke oven first and then we need to make a blast furnace. Because what we need to make all of these things is quite a lot of treated, wo treated wood. And treated wood is made from creosote and normal wood. And we also need quite a lot of steel. So in order to, to get the creosote, I was lucky and found quite a lot in chests and mines. Um, but uh, to do this properly we really need to make quite a lot of creosote so first of all first of all the first thing we need to build is an engineer's hammer and the recipe for the engineer's hammer is actually two pieces of iron one piece of string and two sticks so very easy is to and two ordinary sticks i would have to go and get some wood from upstairs let's go and quickly get some wood from upstairs because for some reason i haven't got any Oh, let's take two stacks. 
Actually, these are blank holes. Right, let's put those in there, and then let's put a few of those. Uh, keep a couple. Twelve is probably a good number to keep. Right, now let's go over here. This crafting table. So we need some sticks. Let's make twenty-four sticks, and then we need. What I didn't do is to take these two bits of metal, iron, and I didn't go and get some string. Let's go and get some string. In fact, I could have gone to the mob spawn as a string, but I've got so much here to take a bit with us. in the chest as well. So what we first of all need to do is to build uh, a coke oven. To build a coke oven we need um, these blocks and the rest, let's go over here, and the recipe for these blocks, if I get on the right button, is we need four clay and four bricks. Now bricks is cooked clay and one's which is all normal sandstone will do fine, and that produces two coke oven blocks. And we need 28 in order to, we need 27, so we have to make 28 in order to build this. So, what we have to do is get quite a lot of clay. In fact, the reason the reason I built the rock crusher is because of the clay, I wanted to get clay. And using my soft silk touch um, excavator, I could actually bring out square blocks of clay rather than clay itself. Clay blocks, I think, is what they are. So what we have to do is we'll put the coke oven, actually we'll put the coke oven here on the on this side here. I'll roll one, that's fine, it's a coke oven. Wrong book, let's have a What we have to do is to make a three by three by three Block, which of course is three Q twenty-seven. Now, what's different about this mod is you actually have to hit this with the coke cap, with the hammer. So here we have the hammer here, and I just simply right-click this with the hammer. And then it co it then converts this to a coke oven, as it says now it's coke oven. And it's the same. We're going to do the same thing, exactly the same thing for the um, for the blast furnace. I should come to make the blast furnaces blocks next. It's just the same recipe for, to build this three by three by three. See, until you actually hit it, this becomes the blast furnace. And when we hit it here with the right click, it produces the hole so we can actually start to make things. We need the blast furnace because we need this mod uses a lot of steel. And this is one way to make the steel in quite high volumes, I think. What we then do is we take some coal, put this coal into the coke oven. Right click this now. I hope I've got this right. And then that will cook. And the output from here will be um, coke and creosote. And then we need the creosote to make the uh, the wood for the for this mod. I don't know how long that takes to work, but it seems to be cooking down slowly. And we shall come back in a few seconds. And what we also the recipe for these um, blast furnace bricks is not too difficult but does require a trip to the nether you need four uh, nether bricks and you need f four bricks for it, two of these so in total you would need um four times fifteen so it's 
60. So you need 60 um, nether bricks, you need 60 bricks. And therefore you will also need 15 blaze powders. Oh, no, you don't need 14 blaze powders. And that's how you make that quite a simple recipe, really. Now let's go back over here and look. Oh, it's nearly cooked down. I shall wait a few more seconds and hopefully while we're working we'll see some creosote come out and some um, coke. And what we use the coke for is we have to put this into the blast furnace in order to make the steel. It's taking it's quite slow. There we go. Some cold coke one. And then here we have half a bucket of creosote. Let's go back over here. Oops. And I think let's we'll put the coke into here. And then let's take some iron, wrong chest. And let's put some iron into here. And hopefully we'll end up with a steel ingot. Maybe more, who knows? I'm not sure how efficient this is. It's the first time I've done it, so we shall see. And then when we have these these items we can uh, start to do things let's come back over here and what we need is treated wood a treated wood is made by simply putting creosote and wood together I'll show you up, up in the um, workshop I still have some creosote in the this railcraft chest no nope, I don't yes I do let's just take leave one and take the rest no, let's take more. I didn't take that. No, I said it. Down we go. Let's take some wrong chest again. Let's let's take some wood. Actually, I should take these out of here. Take the basic things out. And put them in the other chest. Right, in order to make uh, treated wood, what you need is one creosote and then it can be a bucket or a... Ch I think it can be a bucket, I haven't tried that. Or a, um, or a bottle. And then you get, end up with eight treated planks. So you can see, you need a lot. Well, you will do all of this. And then for everything you're going to do, you need this. What else we need is some stone. So let's go and get a stack of stone. I have a lot of stone because of this uh, silk hammers. When you're using the silk hammers, you get quite a lot of stone. And what we need to do with this stone is to make this into um, chiseled stone. I'm putting four together, stone bricks. This is used a lot. This, this particular thing is used for the um, posts. So, let's go back now. Oh, let's, before I go back here, let's move those out of the way. And put some of this stuff in the chest here. I think that's everything I would like to put. And put Chris out as well. Right, back to the book. So here we have the overview. Uh, it's power lines and generators, tools and machinery, overview and resources. So the first thing we needed to do was to produce, um, we also need industrial hemp quite a lot for the advanced materials, but for the, the, the first ones we don't. What we need is, um, let's have a look. Powers, wires and generators, basic wiring. So you need Connectors and capacitors, because we well, can use any. I'm using the resident energy cell as a, as a as a capacitor, and connectors and wire. To make wire, it's very simple. You just need four copper, around one stick. Now, in um, I haven't gone and got the copper. I need to go and get some copper from upstairs. There's three there's three levels of uh, power in in this mod, a bit like industrial craft too. The low level is the copper based one, and then you've got medium voltage and you've got um, high voltage. 
the moment I'm just going to work on low voltage so some sticks let's make a few normal sticks oh, I've got 22 now so you put one of those and then you make uh, just a cross like this and then you get four wires and then the wires you can simply use those to link posts the next thing we need to make are some capacitors or connectors I mean and those are those bits there and this is telling you what you do to convert um, items here we need four hardened clay and three copper ingots I've forgotten about the hardened clay the hardened clay is made by um, cooking normal clay so let's go and get some normal clay and cook that I actually have most of my clay is coming from the sludge farm. The sludge boiler so has 20 clay. Let's go and put that into the uh, furnace here. And then that produces this hardened clay. I think we need a six. Let's just do 12 of those. Okay. So I think we probably need some clay for other things. In fact, probably the easiest way to look at this is to use the immersive uh, items from the um, from NEI. So here we have the immersive items. So what we need to build is this LV connector. So take the sticks out of there. So we need the copper, three copper ingots, and four hardened clay. And then we make these low voltage wire connectors and then what we need to make is a post now a post is made out of two fences and one stone block now fences but these fences are the treated wood fences so first of all we have to make some treated wood let's do it like this take half of those Oops. split that up and then we get uh, 48 sticks 48 sticks we roll like this and that'll give us a few fences we won't use all of the sticks we'll use eight of them that'll then give us four posts so we then need the stone and the fences in fact what we should do is we should make some more fences because you can use this just as a simple post oops And the way it works is like this. You put a post down here, up, and it's quite tall. And then you use the engineer's hammer here. And you can right click this post. When you right click it, it's a bit too tall for this room. Ah, it was just no, had a bit of lag. It then sends out a, a side piece. And in fact, you can right click the other side as well. I think. Yes, there we go. There's a wee bit of lag there. And for, on each one of these, you can then put connectors. And then you can drag wires from those connectors. Unfortunately, I'm not high enough. So what I need to do is to put some, make this a bit higher. So can this all work? probably would be better using a, a scaffolding for that so here we can put the connectors let me just get those ready hopefully no went on the wrong bit so let's go up another one yes now I can get the one oops wrong one never mind let's just dig that off put the connector back on here as you can see now from here you can drag wires and how you drag a wire is you basically take a wire right click it on the top here and then it says linked from and gives you a position then you can come down let's just jump down I'll put another, I'll put another connector somewhere let's put a connector 
button up right here. And then right click this with the wire again. And there you have a link. And that's how you can make wires. And I believe they can get up to 17 blocks away. At the moment, as you can see, it's about two, three blocks perhaps. So, let's come back to my blast furnace. I haven't got any, obviously need more than one coal to f for one steel. Now we've got six coals. And we can put the coke in here. And we've got quite a lot of creosote. So I need to get the creosote out. In order to do that, I think bottles is probably the best way for that. Or energy cells and fuel cells, just cells, uh, solid cells, I think. Let's have a look. It'll be in my industrial craft two chest. And here I have empty cells. These will work, I believe, as well as creosote. And I believe what we can do is simply put that looks like a blue, so that must be an input, and sure enough I've got four uh, creosote cells and well, there's creosote cells now of course you can then use those to make the um, the treated wood it works just the same way as bottles there we are yes so I'll take 32 of those because that's a good amount you need a lot of these for this particular mod so you need a lot of creosote and to make the uh, advanced items you need quite a lot of steel so for example here would be a revolver you can make weapons as well and these are all made using steel ingots or refined iron and here's this mechanical component which is again iron so there's a lot of the iron on this one and now we have our first steel ingot put that in the chest what you can also make, as you saw, was, was a windmill. So that's how it's, and to make a windmill, you basically, this is a windmill. So it's one iron ingot surrounded by these windmill blades. The windmill blades are made from treated wooden sticks. So we need, we need four out of those. So we need um, 12 treated wooden 16 sticks. So that's 16 treated wood sticks. So that represents four, doesn't it? Now we have 16 treated wood sticks, which go like this. And then we need, what was the pattern? Like that. And then we get these four blades. And then with these four blades, we can make those. I th forgot this pattern. I think it was something else. I forgot any iron. No, I've got no iron with me. I think it was like this. Um, I've got one iron here, I can take one of these out. And here we have a windmill. There's the next level of windmill, there's a higher level of windmill. This one here, an improved windmill blade. But this requires a normal windmill blade and four tough fabrics. The tough fabrics are made from a stick an industrial hemp fibre and this is new and to get the, you to get the industrial hemp fibre you need to grow it I think and it comes from cutting tall grass and then you get these industrial hemp seeds and they look like um, it's always difficult to see stuff in here ah, there we are industrial hemp seeds so you, from tall grass you get these industrial hemp seeds and I guess then you can make industrial hemp. I'm not sure how yet, but that'll be for another episode. So now to assemble the, the windmill, we have enough stuff now. We have the windmill and we have uh, the posts. If I can see them. Which I can't see, must be on the other. Yes, here we are. And the posts, and that's all you need to assemble a windmill. Let's go and do that. 
Oh, it's still daytime, that's good. But only just daytime. Oh no. Yes, it's night time now. So we'll do a quick sleep. Hopefully we don't get attacked. So. Keep my home on. Make sure there's no monsters around. Okay. Over here we have a... I think that's... A, I forgot what it is. Creeper, I think. He's down here somewhere. Okay. Let's swap over and get my crossbow out. Very close, can't see him. He hide behind the tree. I guess there's look. Right. Okay. And to actually build the windmill, what you need to do is to put the fence post down. Get rid of that one. So we need fence posts and we need the windmill. And what you do you put a fence post down and then ah oh, I've forgotten something what we need to do is also build a, a kinetic generator it's a bit careless of me let's go and do that now the recipe for kinetic generator before I go downstairs let's just check it out Okay, that's wiring. Power generation. So we need this kinetic dynamo, sorry. So we need first a couple wire a coil. And for that, the recipe for that, but it's fairly straightforward. We need three iron and two redstone. So let's just get some iron and some redstone from here. And we shall just uh, go downstairs again to the workshop. Some iron and some redstone. We've got plenty of copper down here, I think. Okay, let's put these into the chest. I'll put the clay in, put the coke oven in, put the bricks in. Okay. So we need a copper coil, coil of wire. So that's eight coil, eight copper coil my coils and one iron ingot and this recipe was easy so let's just do this one first of all sticks got plenty of sticks got plenty of copper well he split this into five i think what we got 11. i'm sure we need a lot of these 44. okay then we just surround an iron ingot with these I won't make all these money, just make a couple. One I'll make. Right. Fence posts. Connectors. And I think that's all I want here. Right. So now we've made the couple wire call, we need to make the generator. Oh, in fact, it's just going to press you on that one. It's a, it's a dynamo, isn't it? I need to make, oh, sorry, this one. Okay, so three iron, two, two redstone, one cup of oil, gives us a kinetic dynamo. And that's all we need. Let's go back upstairs. Hopefully it's not night time. Front door one more time. Okay. What you do have to notice is you can't simply um, have you do, have you windmill too small? It's huge. You can see from this picture alone that it's one and a half sticks up. 
and I'm not sure, and so I'm going to play with this and see if it works. If we can put fence posts on top of the, and it'll work from there, we'll soon find out. I'm not sure if I can put the generator on top of those, we'll soon, soon see. Here's the dynamo, we put the dynamo on here. Yes, that works good. And then, all you have to do is to put the windmill blade on one of these sides here. Let's get the windmill blade out. If I didn't leave it behind, of course. No, I didn't. I'm not too far away, aren't I? And there we go. And we have a second windmill. Now to get power from this windmill, you have to put a, a connector on the top here and drag some wire down, so let's do that. I have a feeling though that um, on the connector, it, sorry, keep dropping down again, let's go a bit higher up. And some wire. So again, as you come nearer to this, we can right click this. can come down here to the energy cell and right click here and I should have a wire and of course I'm sure that this will quite happily go through the blades will go through this wire which is fine so now I've got two windmills running generating power and as you can see this before it is generating it should be generating a reasonable amount of power and reasonably quickly this has already gotten it is that 20 million uh, energies and I only built it yesterday so that's it for today I think I hope you enjoyed watching this introduction to immersive engineering bye for now